What we're looking at today is an external spline with the LMI Gocator 2330 model. We're checking to make sure that the broach tool and the spline itself didn't slip back and forth while it was in the fixture. What happens is you get a really narrow tooth on the top side here, um, and it's a quality concern. So what we're doing is I set up a set of tools to track where the part actually is. Um, and I'm tracking the topmost tooth. Now what we're looking at is for the form of that tooth. So when the spline tool slips, what you're going to see is your tooth isn't going to be a nice symmetrical shape. One side is going to go up a little faster than the other. That's going to result in this top point here dropping down closer to the top end of the tooth. So what we're doing is we're tracking where the top tooth is at. We are tracking where the center of the part actually is right here and then we're going to measure from this point to the intersection point to make sure that we're staying within our target. So right now I'm seeing 26.927. The beauty of this setup is I can rotate my part around and my tools will follow that topmost tooth. Everything's anchored together and linked together. So as you rotate it you can see it jump from tooth to tooth to tooth as you go by. I'm going to come out a little bit here. Right, so I can see my actual calculation. No matter how I rotate this, I'm staying right around 27. Now I'm plus or minus about a quarter millimeter right now doing this back and forth. This is sitting on a desktop. There's nothing fixturing it. Everything's pretty loosey-goosey, and we're still able to keep that kind of accuracy in here. That is one of the beauties of the LMI system.